Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Earth signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out the person on your mind right now. How do they feel about you currently? To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 21st of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 11.13 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally guide it to watch this video this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same sign all right spirits and angels please show me for Virgo, taurus and capcom the person on their mind right now how do they feel about them so think of the person and sorry there is a somebody is talking outside my door got a little bit distracted ten of pentacles in first at the bottom of the deck so this is a person you're thinking right now the person who's on your mind right now okay can be anybody a friend um a friend um an ex or someone you could be romantically connected to interested in could be a family member <clears throat> a boss co-workers a co-worker sorry i'm still not feeling very well and i just moved to a new place from an airbnb now to a hotel um and my voice is still so scratchy and I just cut my finger here as well. <laughs> Not just, but this afternoon when I was like unpacking and stuff. But anyway, please bear with me, okay? Um, we've got the strength, four swords in the first and the world. And the world and we've got the eight of swords. Eight of swords is somebody thinking a lot, okay, about the other person. So whoever you could be thinking about right now. The person who is on your mind, they are also thinking about you, okay? This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, could be a Leo, could be any fixed signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, some fire energy, can be any sign, doesn't matter, okay? So the strength for one, seven of pentacles in reverse. How do they feel about you? Hmm. I think they miss you, okay? You only think a lot about somebody because... You know, you miss the person. And the strength here, four swords and love first. Yeah, a lot of restless energy. They could be feeling restless right now because of the world. Maybe because there's a big change in the dynamics of your connection with them. The big change could be because of anything, right? The world, someone decides to close an old chapter or both of you are closing an old chapter together or start starting something new together or separately, okay? So, and the Knight of Cups right here indicates that this person does care about you, loves you, or has romantic feelings for you if this is a romantic connection. But the Queen of Cups here is in love first and the Moon in love first it feels like this person, you know, eight of swords overthinking, right? Overthinking. It might have something to do with certain doubts, doubts that they have in regards to this connection for one's or home situation or someone, again, starting a new chapter. It's a bit of a scary thought uh, I'm getting here. The person on your mind could be a bit scared of this change. And again, some of you... This is someone you have this big change together. It could be together, the strength, or it could be separately, okay? Queen of Cups, again, in reverse, because Queen of Cups is in reverse, while the Knight of Cups is in upright position. So it feels almost like maybe it's not, not being on the same page, or maybe one person is more excited about this new change, while the other person is just, like, less excited or have more worries about this big change if you're if you're still connected to this person but you know it could also indicate a separation of some of you maybe the person on your mind right now is someone you're not with right now okay or that they're afraid that both of you are going to be separated eventually okay seven of pentacles here is in reverse 
They could be feeling like maybe the investment or this change again. It's like this, like would this be a waste of time? Would this be a waste of money? Would this be a waste of, eff a waste of effort? Hmm. They feel like they need to be very careful with the strength, strength here. Uh, very careful, be very diplomatic, be very tactful for once to keep the peace between the two of you. I don't know, I'm sensing there are two groups of you here. One group, maybe you're separated from this person. The other group is like maybe together, still connected, but, you know, maybe going through a big change together, okay? And one person may have to, one person is less enthusiastic than the other person in regards to this big change. Again, this change may have something to do with uh, travel, movement, uh, moving, like moving out. It, it's like there's a new, new, new thing that's going on and it's a big thing, okay? Could be related to something that is online, um, something overseas, the world. For once, again, can indicate home situation or marriage. Okay, someone is, okay, for some of you, okay, it, it really depends, yeah, if if you're not married, if this is someone you're getting married to, um, someone, I don't know, someone may have cold feet, either your person may be feeling cold feet, or you could be, or that they feel you may have cold feet in regards to this marriage, if it's not marriage, it's something about, you know, doing something together, but it's a big change moving in together or starting a new relationship or taking the relationship to the next level. But this storyline is just for those of you if this is a romantic connection, okay? But if you're already married, maybe both of you could be thinking about uh, moving or some, there is something big that's happening or having kids or buying a house. There's a big, um, big, change again that can be quite scary can be quite foreign right eight of swords could be related to money as well or career all right hmm. but you get the gist right it's like your person could be feeling like okay i really want to do this but i'm kind of scared or that they could be feeling you're kind of scared so they need to be very careful with the way the things they say to you um, how they manage the situation with you. Okay, let's see more. Ten of Pentacles, I'm on first. Seven of Wands, I'm on first. Nine of Swords. Yeah, maybe it's ha happening too fast. Whether it's fast or not, it's this energy like, oh, maybe it's, you know, or I have to be fast. I have to be, have to rush. Like there's this sense of urgency, but at the, at the same time, this energy. But if we rush, then, you know, we might regret it because of the seven pentacles here at Mount first. We might lose something if we were to rush into this, this new thing that both of you could be embarking on. Or it could be if you're separated from this person, they could be feeling you're upset with them. Okay. Nine of Swords can be quite angry and Seven of Wands in reverse. They could be upset with you or that they feel you're upset with them because there's this energy of like, maybe I'm giving up or maybe I've given up already. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like your person may be worrying about potential um, sadness, potential separation or potential... Um, it's like, because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it hasn't become a reality yet, right? So they could be worrying about this future, whether it will become a reality or not, okay? If you're separated, they could be feeling, they could be worrying, yeah, about will we both reconcile? If we reconcile, will there be a future, right? Perhaps I have to be very careful with the way I act, with how I say things to Virgo towards Capricorn. And 
I just feel overall, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Cap, the person in your mind right now is really, really worrying a lot. <laughs> he or she is really worried because there's this big thing, um, the world here again, this big change. It could be either the change where it might lead to a separation or a change that is too big and too unknown the moon here in my verse uncertainties in regards to the future hmm. if this is someone from your past it does look like they feel they, they try to hold back right the strength here because maybe they feel like you've already moved on the world yeah but regardless with the knight of cups they still love you they still care about you but they feel like you're upset with them and then you are no longer invested in them in this connection they feel like you've already given up but they still think a lot about you know when when both of you were connected when both of you were very close very intimate if you know there's someone you were romantically connected to but it's just there's this sense of closeness i think they could be thinking a lot about okay all right I'm not sure if i'm really connecting right now because <laughs> uh, this is a new place and i'm still kind of sick but anyway, hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. Um, and for those of you who like to be notified every time when I go live and every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.